the everlasting door, and the King of Glory shall come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord's host. He is the King of Glory. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. We will now have our open song by our choir ministry. Continue to 
But the, the love of God said we shall overcome one day. And that's what we're looking for. We want to overcome. We want to love back in the church. We want to be able to hug one another. We want to be able to, uh, like the sister said on yesterday, if I come to you and want to borrow it, uh, maybe uh, this or that, but you got your girlfriend on the, on the uh, line over there, you say, you know what, she wanted to borrow but God don't want you like that. He wants you to have, if you lend someone something, don't pay it back by gossiping, but pay it back by, by loving them, by keeping your mouth closed. Because they came in you, they didn't want to come to you, but they came to you because they had a need. They had a need. And if they could have went somewhere else, they would have. So that's what God said in his word. Oh, no one anything but love. And then he said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. If you love your brother and your sisters, you wouldn't do these things. You wouldn't commit, you wouldn't kill, you wouldn't steal from them. My neighbor got, just got a new car and she got a TV in the back. When it, uh, about 12 o'clock now, I'm bust the window. If you love that person, you would not do that. Because if you love them, and you show love to that brother or that sister, then you fulfill the law. The law to love, to love, to be loved, to give love, to show love, to be loved, to give love, to show love. To not always uh, look at someone because they don't look like you, to have a long face or turn up your nose because they're different from you. Because God made all of us. Some of us are, are, are light complexion, are black complexion, brown, but we are all in the body of Christ. We all, we don't, we don't talk alike, we don't look alike, we are not the same size. And that's what God wants us to love one another. It's all about loving our brothers and sisters. You know, to show love. It's not about the, the, the emotion, the physical love, but it's that heart. If I loved you enough, I wouldn't hurt you. I wouldn't walk down the street and see you if, if something is wrong, rather than come to you and tell you about it. I would sneak it behind your back. That's not love. But God wants us to love one another. That's his first commandment. And you know, on uh, Wednesday night, Pastor said, love is the foundation and essence of everything God made. So God made you, 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 and me. So he is the foundation of our love. He don't pick on us and say, you are not like them, you are not, you don't have this, and you don't. He simply, he loved all of us in spite of who we are, in spite of our difference, in spite of our lack, in spite of who we are. God loves us all. So that's what he want to do. You know, when Jesus went on the cross, you know, in my, uh, when I wrote this, uh, this sermon on oh, yesterday, uh, Mr. Deutsch and uh, Yolanda, they was all in my suit. You know, I had to go home and sing. Then I put the wrong ingredients, but they were all in my suit. And I said, Lord Jesus, I know it's all right because you, you are, are confirming your word. So I said, thank you, Lord. And I went, I went to bed last night. I was tossing, I was turning, because you know the enemy tried to, sometimes he tried to put your head, your, fill your mind with so many different things. And I thank God he allowed me to sleep like a baby. I woke up this morning and I was so oppressed. So I give God the praise, the peace of God. The peace of God that passes all men's understanding. I just thank him for his strength that he's given unto me in the name of Jesus. I give him glory. I give him honor. And I give him praise on today. Because if it wasn't for God, I would not be standing here uh, preaching the word. I would be still sitting on that pew. But I have to do the will of God. If he, if he calls you, then he is going to bless you. He said,
your neighbor. You, we're going to have to love our neighbor until we close our eyes and not be able to speak anymore. But when you, when you buy something in this world, you're going you're gonna to have, gonna have to close, come to a close. You're going to have to pay. But love, love what covers a multitude of sin. It covers, it covers in the name of Jesus. We do as we keep in God's commandment and fulfilling the law of love. Not treating your brother or sister unjustly, but with sincere love and faith. Unconditional love. That is godly love. You know, that is godly love that, that Jesus died on the cross. And your uh, uh, brother Dorothy was in my soup again because uh, in my sermon, it wasn't the nails that kept Jesus on the cross. I mean, the, the, the pain that he went through, the suffering that he went through, yeah. but it was his love. Yeah. His love for all of us. Yeah. His love. Yeah. Those nails didn't hang him up there. I mean, looking at the natural eye, you would say, those nails held, held him up there. No, it wasn't those nails. It was his love. Yeah. His love. His love kept him on that cross. And, and, and uh, love for you and I that held him on the cross. And Corinthians, the 13th chapter, the last verse, it says, Now by his faith, hope, and charity. But these, the, but these three, but the greatest of is charity. It's all about love. God wants us to love one another. He wants us to, you know, we've been through this pandemic. You know, there's been some changes in the world. But he still expects us to love one another. Be, be a, a, a blessing to someone else if you can. Give God the praise. You know, uh, when someone's name comes up in your spirit, pray for that person. Because we don't know what that person is going through. But God knows that what God said, I'm using you today to pray for so-and-so. So I just thank God for just keeping us and blessing us. We miss the ones that we don't see every Sunday, but God knows where they are. God yeah. knows them. Yeah. Uh, he made a Facebook. He made teleconference so we can still get in the Word. And I think Thomas was still uh, singing those songs of Zion. I just give God the praise and the glory and the honor. Because without God, we can do nothing. But with God, we can do all things through God to strengthen us. Amen. So I just thank Him for this day. I thank Him. I give Him praise today. I give Him glory. I give Him honor in the name of Jesus. I praise Him because He looked beyond my fault. And He saw my need on today. So I said, Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God. I give you praise today, God, for looking beyond our faults and seeing our need. There is no one like God. No one can bless us like God. No one. Because there is, in 1 John 4, 18, there is no fear in love. There is no fear. But perfect love casts out fear because fear has what? Torment. He that fear is not made perfect in love. So God wants us to love, just like his son, he sent his son Jesus uh, to die on the cross for us that we might receive that love. And he wants us to uh, uh, carry that love on to someone else, the next generation, the next generation. We want them to know that God loves us and we love him and he told us to love our neighbor. You know, don't, don't abuse, don't accuse, but to love one another. Because love works. Love, yes. love covers a mother to sin. Love, love, love. If nothing else would do, love would lift us. Yes. Love would lift us when nothing else would. When we don't have food on the table, we can go to God and God will send someone. Because yes. He loves us in the name of Jesus. So I just thank God for all He do and all that He's going to do. I just thank you because we can lean and depend on him in the name of Jesus. I, I just thank you for the word today. I thank you for uh, James, second chapter, and the eighth verse says, okay. 
to 8 says, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You do well. But if you have respect to person, you commit sin and convince of the law as transgressors. So we're not supposed to, uh, just like Jane talked in the first chapter, uh, someone come in with, you know, beautiful clothing and somebody came in and make with a old oh, rack of this or rack of that. And what you did when you put the person that looked good, you thought, on the outside, you put them up front, but you didn't want to have anything to do with them. That person that didn't look good to you in your eyes. But God said, don't have no respect to the person just like I do. Love ye one another. Keep my commandment. Do good to those. And we can't just love those who love us. Amen. Because uh, sometimes your enemy turns out to be your best, your best thing. Yeah. So we just got to be careful what we say, what we do, how we treat people. What we do, how we go out there in the public, and and you know, a lot of times you go out there and people they they say mean and ugly things to you. You want to uh, not turn this other cheek, but you want to hit them on the cheek. But God say, walk away, yeah. walk away. I will handle this because He said, "Vengeance is mine, yes. and I shall repay." Yes. Yes. So I give God the praise for everyone today that we continue to be a blessing to one another. That we. Just keep on loving one another because that's what Jesus died on the cross for. That we might love one another. That we might keep uh, keep the faith. That we might keep just singing. Some, sometimes we have to just sing songs. And sometimes we just have to uh, pat ourselves on the back and say it's all right. And sometimes you might have to go to a chair somewhere and cry. Sometimes you might have to just look at TV and, and sometimes the simplest thing can give you peace. The simplest things will give the joy. But God doesn't want our joy to be, uh, be brought up and he doesn't want us to lose our joy. He wants us to have that perfect peace in him. So I just thank God for all he's done and all he's going to do. And there's always a song that I think about. Hezekiah Walker. Uh, we are a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you. I need you to survive. That every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you. I need you to survive. And I, we need each other. We may not think we do, but we need each other. We can't make it alone in, um, by ourselves in this life. We need each other. We need each um, other. You know, sometimes people come to church and they're, uh, they're sad. Sometimes the only thing they need is a little hug, a little love, or just a little comfort. And God wants us to see, He wants us to discern and see that people need, we need each other. Not to be, be emotional, but just to be kind hearted, just to be, just to be loving to one another, to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. God is counting on us. We can't make it without him. I just thank God for all he's done and all that he's going to do for keeping us, for blessing us, uh, for allowing us to, to come out and fellowship with one another. We can't get that close right there, but it, a day will come when we do. So don't give up. Just keep on praising and blessing God because faith keeps us doing the things that God has planned for us to do. So we got to keep walking in grace, walking in faith, because he said he would never leave us nor forsake us, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. That we keep on loving God, and he will show us. If we don't understand about love, then God will teach us to love. He will teach us. He said we lack wisdom to ask for, and he will give it to us. So may God continue to bless us, May he continue to keep us. May he continue to be a blessing in our life. And we just thank God for all he's done. That we know that love, love lifted us from nothing else to do. Love, love is, is we should overcome with love. If we keep standing in the, on the word, if we keep walking by faith 
and not us out. Then God will keep us. He will bless us. Yes, he will. And, and when you're not even expecting that blessing, that blessing will come up. Yes. When you don't even realize, that blessing will come up. Yes, will. But he's expecting us to, to give his name the praise and glory yes. and honor. He expect us to open our mouths sometimes and say, thank you, Lord. Yes. He expect us to open our mouths sometimes and say, hallelujah, yes. God. Yes. Because he is worthy. Yes, he is worthy yes. to be praised. Yes. Lord, I give you praise on today, God. Yes. Because you are worthy, Lord. And we just thank you that we owe no name anything but love. Love. When nothing else we do, love lifts the name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The doors of the church is open. And we just thank God for his mercy, for his kindness. I thank God for the prayers of the righteous of fell as much. I thank God for for peace that passes all man's understanding. I thank you in the name of Jesus. I give him glory. I give him honor. And I give him praise. I thank you because he looks beyond our faults and he sees our need. And he knows what all our needs are. We don't have to Go and say, ask anybody this or that. But God already knows. So we just thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, God. We give you glory. And we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah. 
Let us prepare for our communion. sir. Likewise, he took the cup and he said, This is the blood that was shed for thee. You may drink. We do 
not have a benediction because the work has just not begun. So as you go out, remember that God loves you and the love lesson that you got, that you will continue to walk in love everywhere you go. Sister Brown, All that I have, the Lord has provided, the Lord has provided. as an act of faith, in obedience to the word of God, I prayerfully and cheerfully, I pray cheerfully. give my tithes and offerings, and, 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 and receive my blessings from the Lord.